In this video, we're going to show you how to install a CPU water block on the LGA 115X socket motherboard. If already installed, please remove the motherboard from your computer and place it on an even surface with front facing down. Take the enclosed rubber gasket and remove the partially cut inner part. Install rubber gasket and metal backplate for LGA 115X socket to the back of the motherboard rib side up. Align the holes on the motherboard with holes on rubber gasket and backplate. Carefully rotate motherboard assembly with front side facing up with one hand while holding the backplate and rubber in place with the other hand. Install four M4 thumb screws onto your motherboard. It is mandatory that you put a 0.7 mm plastic washer underneath each of the M4 thumb screws. Tighten the screws to the metal backplate until you reach the end of the thread. Using tools such as pliers is not recommended. If you had other CPU cooling solution before, you have to wipe the CPU's contact surface by using non-abrasive cloth or Q-tip. Take the enclosed thermal compound and apply it to the CPU heat spreader. The quantity of about two rice grains is just about right. There is no need to cover the whole IHS. Applying too much thermal grease will have negative effect on the cooling performance. Take the CPU water block and remove the sticker on the aluminum head. Align the water block over the mounting screws on the motherboard and CPU. Place an enclosed compression spring and thumb nut over each M4 thumb screw. Start fastening two thumb nuts at a time, preferably in cross pattern and do not tighten them fully until all of them are partially screwed in. Then, using your fingers only, screw in all four thumb nuts until you reach the end of the thread. The installation of the CPU water block is now complete. You can now proceed to the next step.